SAP Business One provides a comprehensive set of tables and fields for all areas of the system. However, if you require additional fields for your business processes, you can create your own user-defined fields. Adding user-defined fields or changing existing ones is a change to the structure of the underlying database. Therefore, it is very important to ensure all users are disconnected from the system before proceeding to do so. In order to manage these connections, go to Administration, Utilities, and Connected Clients. This window will show you all of your active user connections in the database. It is also very important to schedule a time to make these database structure modifications, as when you disconnect the users from the database, anything they are in the middle of working on will not be saved. To disconnect the users from the database, simply highlight their connection and select the Disconnect button. You can hold down the Shift key to select a range of users if there are multiple connections. To add user-defined fields, go to the Tools option in the toolbar at the top of the system. Then, navigate to Customization Tools and User-Defined Fields Management. In the User-Defined Fields Management window, you will see various categories which represent the different areas of the system you can add a user-defined field to. For example, under the Master Data category, you can add user-defined fields to the Business Partner Master Data, Item Master Data, and others. Let's expand the Marketing Document category to reveal the Title and Rows subcategory. The Title category will add the field to the User Defined Field window that appears as an appendage to the Marketing Document. If we go to the Sales Order Marketing Document, we can reveal this main User Defined Fields window by going to View and selecting User Defined Fields. If we add a User Defined Field to the Rows category in the User Defined Fields Management window, the field will appear in the rows of the document. Expand the Rows subcategory to see the existing user-defined fields for the rows of our marketing documents. To add a new field, simply highlight the subcategory and then select the Add button. When creating the user-defined field, you will specify the field name and the type of data to be contained in the field. The title is the field name, and it cannot contain spaces or special characters. The field will have a U underscore appended to the front of what you define in this field when it is added to the database. The description is the display name or how the field will appear on your marketing document. The length is the character size of the field. If the field is alphanumeric and regular, the length will be the maximum number of characters of 254. If the field is numeric, the length is one more than the maximum number of digits. For example, you would specify 11 to allow up to 10 digits. Let's say we want to define an industry-specific field, which I have simply named industry-specific to demonstrate this example. We are also going to leave it as alphanumeric and regular. We can also define valid values for our user-defined field. Valid values are predefined specific selections that must be made when a user is adding data to the field on the marketing document. To add a value, select the New button, then define the value and the description. We can also set a default valid value for the field. And we can make this field mandatory when adding marketing documents. When we click the Add button, the system will warn us that we are modifying the database structure. If we click Yes, the field will add to the system. Now when we go to a sales order, we can see our newly added user-defined field in the rows of the document. User-defined fields can be a useful tool in customizing SAP Business One, and as an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI can help you effectively utilize them to meet your specific business and industry needs. Visit our website at www.lbsi.com and click the contact link to get in touch with us. You can also email us at sales at lbsi.com for sales-related inquiries or SAP support at lbsi.com if you're an existing client in need of support assistance.